Hello and thank you for coming back to our amazing channel on emerging technology. Stick around to the end to capture all content. Don't forget to subscribe to get the latest emerging technologies. In the world of transportation, humans have witnessed a transition from horse and buggy to automobile. The next transition appears to be a shift from gas-fueled vehicles to electric vehicles then a shift to flying vehicles. The first car, widely regarded as the first practical modern automobile, was built in 1885 by the German Karl Benz. It was patented and unveiled in 1886. As for the transition from horses to automobiles, it wasn't an immediate switch. The horse and buggy days started to fade out around 1910 when the horse and buggy were replaced by the automobile. However, it took nearly half a century for the automobile to become the standard form of transport for people and goods. By 1912, motorized vehicles had become the main source of transport and carriage in cities around the globe. The transition was not smooth or inevitable, and there were several decades when horse travel declined but automobiles were still uncommon. The first crude electric vehicle was developed around 1832 by Robert Anderson. However, it wasn't until the 1870s or later that electric cars became practical. An electric vehicle built by an English inventor was pictured in 1884. Now 138 years later, the percentage of electric vehicles in the world is seeing exponential growth. Total sales make up 18% of new cars sold. While this does not seem a significant progress in 138 years, it appears that the exponential growth has started over the last three years. Total sales in 2020 were less than 5%, 2021 was 9%, and 2022 sales were around 14%. Therefore, we saw sales double in three years. For electric vehicles EVs, to become ubiquitous, a robust and accessible infrastructure is needed. Here are some key components. Charging stations. A widespread network of charging stations is crucial. This includes both public charging stations and private ones at homes and workplaces. Fast charging. Fast charging stations that can charge an EVs battery in minutes rather than hours are important for long-distance travel. Grid capacity. The electrical grid must be able to handle the increased demand from EVs. This might require upgrades to the grid infrastructure. Smart grids. Smart grids can help manage electricity demand and supply more efficiently. They can allow for off-peak charging, which can reduce strain on the grid and lower charging costs. Battery technology. Continued improvements in battery technology are needed to increase the range of EVs and reduce charging times. Battery swapping stations. These are places where EV drivers can quickly swap their vehicle's depleted battery for a fully charged one. Vehicle to grid, V2G, systems. These systems allow EVs to feed electricity back into the grid when not in use, which can help balance supply and demand. Policies and incentives. Government policies and incentives can encourage the development of EV infrastructure and the adoption of EVs. Public awareness. Increasing public awareness about the benefits of EVs and how to use and charge them is also important. While the EV market is taking off, the flying car market is in full steam ahead mode. The first attempts at creating a flying car date back to just a decade and a half after the Wright brothers' first flight in 1903. However, the first notable models include the Curtis Autoplane in 1917, which managed a few short hops one, and the aero car designed by Moulton Molt Taylor, which made a successful flight in December 1949. EVTOL vehicles, or electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, are a type of aircraft that can hover, fly, and take off and land vertically. They are sometimes referred to as air taxis or flying taxis. The technology that makes up EVTOL vehicles includes Battery. EVTOLs are powered by batteries. Electric motors. These provide the propulsion for the vehicle. Onboard electronic controllers. These manage the vehicle systems. Cruise lift wing. This helps the vehicle to hover and fly. For EVTOLs to become ubiquitous, several things are needed. Regulatory approvals. EVTOLs will need to obtain type certification, production certification, and operational authorities in most jurisdictions. 3. Safety measures. Certified vehicles must be able to perform a safe vertical landing in the event of a critical failure, including a collision with a bird, in any phase of flight. Public acceptance. People need to be confident that it is safe to use these vehicles. 
Infrastructure development. This includes the development of Verta ports for takeoff and landing, as well as charging stations for the vehicles. Technological advancements. Improvements in battery technology and electric motor reliability are needed for these vehicles to meet the safety requirements of Urban Air Mobility 6. It's important to note that while there is significant progress being made in these areas, there are still many challenges to overcome before EVTOLs can become a common mode of transportation. Top producers of flying cars are aggressively pushing the market forward. Aeromobile, Boeing, Cartivator, E. Hang, Airbus. The inventory needed for flying car production includes specialized propeller motor systems to avoid differential stress, among other components. The vehicles also need to meet safety standards set by organizations like the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, and the National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration before they can take flight. Regarding whether flying cars will be the next evolution after electric vehicles become ubiquitous, it's a possibility. Advanced Air Mobility AAM, which includes passenger or cargo carrying flying aircraft that are highly automated, could become a popular mode of transportation over the coming decade or soon after. However, there are still many challenges to overcome, including public acceptance, safety concerns, and regulatory issues. It's also worth noting that while some flying cars plan to use electric power, new types of batteries will need to be developed before electric flying cars can become an everyday form of transport. In the fast-paced world of transportation, we've journeyed from horse-drawn carriages to gas-guzzling automobiles, and now we stand on the cusp of a new era electric vehicles, EVs, and flying cars. The EV market is on an exponential rise, with significant growth in recent years, driven by advancements in technology and supportive policies. However, for EVs to truly dominate, a robust infrastructure, including widespread charging stations and smart grids, is crucial. Meanwhile, the flying car industry, led by major players like Aeromobile and Boeing, is soaring to new heights. Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicles EVTOLs, promise a futuristic mode of urban transportation, but challenges such as regulatory approvals, safety measures, and public acceptance remain substantial hurdles. While the idea of flying cars becoming commonplace is tantalizing, it hinges on overcoming these obstacles and developing advanced battery technologies. As we hurdle toward an electrified and airborne future, the evolution from electric vehicles to flying cars seems inevitable, but the journey is far from turbulence-free. Stay tuned for groundbreaking developments, but buckle up, the ride might be bumpier than you expected. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to get. In order to get YouTube to push up the video out to more views, please comment, like, and hit the bell icon to get the latest videos as we produce cutting-edge technology advancements. We will see you in the next video.